NXCAT software training. Let's say about a trim body today. So the trim body is present in the toolbar over here. Um, or you can be able to find out from insert trim and trim body. Okay, okay. Um, I have already created one solid body along with uh, some extrudes. So you can see here, this is a solid body. I have created it. There is some block. Then I created one small uh, sketch over here. Then I have made that a sketch as a extruder. Okay, this sketch is already united with this body. So here you can see I have made that as united. So it's a single piece of solid body now. You can see now solid body. So here you can see the solid body is single piece of body. Okay, right. So now I will turn off this um, sketch also here. I have hidden it. Okay, right. So now this is a single body. Now I am going to trim this body in line to some sketches as well as some datums actually. So that when you go for trim body, insert trim and trim body we can go for it so which body we are going to trim we have to choose it as a target body so this is the body which i wanted to trim it i've just selected it and uh, suppose if i have some surfaces i can select through this face or face suppose i have um, i wanted to trim it with reference to some plane means i can choose the plane also now i didn't create any sketch so that i am creating a plane in line to whatever my requirement so new plane i am going from the tool option so here i am selecting this existing datum coordinate system so that i can able to offset the plane to certain distance okay now i am selecting this plane so based on the distance uh, according to that you can find that the body is getting trimmed okay so this i am just simply dragging suppose you know the specific distance that where from you wanted to trim you can trim it suppose i wanted to trim this body at a distance of 50 minutes you can give 50 see the show result so you can see so this is the end result of the trim body okay the other portion will get trimmed the only one portion of the body only we can have it as a target body suppose you wanted to reverse it means you can reverse it through this reverse direction also okay so this is my end result you want that means you can keep it like this also so which direction you want you can choose it according to your requirement suppose uh, this plane whatever i have given here now i am going to move it to over here little bit away from this location okay so now i am drumming in line to this one means then you will get the end result as like this okay so the trim body just it will trim the solid body the place where we select the tool okay so it will trim and it will remove the portion of the solid body see now the top surface has been trimmed and only less amount of material is present in this smaller box okay for example now one more time i will do it i wanted to trim it vertically like this means now i am going for trim body so which is my target body this is my target body now i am going to use the plane so the plane what i want is so regarding this plane we didn't see in detail i will take you through um, by within a couple of days okay so now i am that's why i am taking only through this uh, inferred button only now i am choosing this plane like this and like this so that i will get the plane at the middle so now i am using a bisector plane so this bisector plane will create like this and we can trim by this way suppose you wanted to reverse it the same way you can go for it suppose you already done the trim body you wanted to reverse it now means double click on this just to reverse it it will trim the body like this okay so this is how this trim body will work right okay i have selected this curves now I'm keeping it as none option. This is simply a only a spline. I have created it. I have just extruded it. Okay, right. Now I'm going to trim this body in line to this surface means. Then you can go for trim body again. I wanted to go. I wanted to select this solid body as a target body. Then through which phase I wanted to trim it. I wanted to trim it in line to this surface means you can select this surface the other portion will get rid of. Suppose you wanted to reverse it just to reverse it it will get created like this. So then you can put this curve in, put this surface in the different layer so that it will get switched off. Now I am blanking it. Okay. 
so this is how the end result will look like suppose you want to do reverse it in other way means then you can go for drum body just to reverse it will get the reversed body okay like this you will get it so let's see about split body as well because of both are more or less same so let me cover that drum bar split body as well now i'll remove these drum bodies okay so till now it is a single body only now i removed all the drum bodies okay let's see now so the split body is also present in the same drum option only within the drum um, you know only it is present here you can see split body. so now i will go for insert drum split body i'm going so now i'm going to split this body into two pieces actually split body means uh, it will split the body into two pieces and it will not remove either side of the body okay it will retain the both the solid bodies we suppose if you want we can move it to different layers okay right now so this is the target body which i wanted to split it now i wanted to choose a plane from by which i wanted to trim it suppose sorry uh, by which i wanted to split it suppose i am selecting a new plane so now i am going for a bisector plane means bisector plane means two surfaces you have to select it based on that it will create a middle one plane okay right so now i have created this plane here there is an option called imprinted edges now i am switching of it then later i will explain you so now you can see the end result this is how it will create it now i am giving okay so now the body is splitted into two pieces but however you are getting both the bodies are in the visible state suppose you are doing blank that means you are doing hide select this any one of the body and control b you can give or else hide you can give like this you can see so the body is splitted into two pieces that is what split body okay suppose you wanted to have only the final target body is only this one the other body you do not want means you can put it in a different layer and you can switch off it okay right suppose i wanted to bring back the solid body which i hidden means you can go for control shift k control key shift key k so that is called as unblank selected okay this is the body we blanked so that i am unblanking it okay control shift k unblank okay selected right so now i have split these two bodies into two pieces actually so by this way the split body will work okay let us say in the uh, one more option also so now we'll delete the split body okay now it's a single piece of component now i'm going for split body option okay so now i'm going for split body so here there is an option called keep imprinted edges option is there keep imprinted edges means i am going to trim this body okay in line to this top surface okay let us see that also so now i'm going to select this top solid body now the plane what i want to have is i want to select this top surface as my plane okay so that i'm going to create a new plane over here with reference to this okay i created it now i wanted to so this is my top surface which i wanted to use it as my uh, splitting plane okay All right so these two bodies are intersecting place i have created one plane with reference to that i wanted to split it means i can select this plane as well now you see the end result this keep imprinted edges i will keep it in the switched off condition let's see how is the end result of that i'm giving okay now it is in the turned off condition i'm hiding it no impact on this so this body is different this body is different so both the bodies are different different bodies completely it removed the complete solid body what i splitted it now now i will un blank it okay right now i unblanked it okay see already the sketch i have kept it in the blanked state only don't get confused here okay right 
Now I wanted to use this imprinted option means keep imprinted edges means suppose if this button is in the on condition means whatever the solid body which is in contact with the other body the same edges all the edges will get printed on the other target body okay so for example here we have this rectangular shape right so that the entire rectangular shape will be projected onto this solid body and then only it will get trimmed that is what this keep imprinted edges so let us say now so now i'm going to select this plane as my splitting plane so i am selecting this this button is in the on condition i am giving and show result you okay now this body is split into two pieces you can see here keep in the solid body so that you can select appropriately now i am just hiding it okay you see now so this is not the sketch lines the sketch line is different that i already hidden it okay you can see here it is in the grayed out state that is already in the hidden hidden state so this is exactly on the solid body the curves are projected the edges are projected that is what imprinted edges okay so what i can do with reference to this like if you think of you can do whatever like you can extrude it in the reverse side and you can cut the material for example now i will do this so now i wanted to reverse this i can use it for any other purpose also okay like this also you can do it okay so this is how the split body will work so at the same time the split body i wanted to use it in one more way i wanted to create some sketch i wanted to trim it means uh, i wanted to split it means you can go for it let us see how for example now i am going to create a insert sketch in task environment i am going i wanted to trim this body with reference to some profiles okay for example i will create some studio splines okay i created some splines here so i am going to extrude this in line to my requirement i'm going to just extrude this i am going for a split body and set trim split body okay right so now i am going to select the target body now i am going to select the face this is the face which i want to use use it for my split body so i have selected it now see the end result so um, now this body is split into two pieces okay here where the surface has been split into two pieces to identify that keep your filter in the solid body so that this is becomes separate solid body this has become separate solid body now i will hide this edges so that you can see everything clearly okay right so this is a separate solid body this is a separate solid body some sometimes you may have a question that okay i have split it into two pieces do i can i able to delete it no you can't delete this body as a separate feature because of it has split into two pieces but it you cannot able to delete it if you delete it both the bodies will get deleted so don't try to do that okay suppose you wanted to hide any one of the body then you can put it in a different layer and you can switch off it so this one you can either you can put it in a different layer or else this one you can put it as a different layer okay so that's why the split body wherever you require only that place you have to go for it otherwise use only drum body okay right hope you understand today's session let's see tomorrow hope you understand today's session if you have any comments please post it if you want to contact me through email next.sorisg at gmail.com you can contact me through this also okay let's see in the next class thank you